welcome sa Criminology Pointers. Ngayon, ididiscuss ko ang crime detection and investigation, particularly sa fire technology and arson investigation. Simulan na natin. Ang hinanda ko ngayon ay question approach. Uh, maaaring lumabas ito sa board exam, kaya makinig ng mabuti. Okay, number one. It is the transfer of heat which requires physical contact between the bodies or portion of bodies exchanging heat. Is it A. Conduction, B. Convection, C. Radiation, or D. Heat transfer? Ang correct answer ay Conduction. Discuss ko later kung bakit yan ang sagot. Okay. A fire incident was reported at your office. Upon receipt of the report, you immediately dispatch fire personnel at the said scene. Upon arrival at the scene, the fire ground commander noticed that the two adjacent buildings are on a blaze. Applying the principle of heat transfer, what could be the possible mode of heat transmission? Is it A. Convection? B. Radiation? C. Conduction? Or D. Incendiarism? Ang correct answer ay B. Radiation. Ngayon, heat transfer. Conduction, convection, at radiation. So, conduction muna tayo. Conduction occurs when two objects at different temperatures are in contact with each other. Heat flows from the warmer to the cooler object until they are both at the same temperature. So, conduction. Kailangan may physical contact. Always take note that conduction always may physical contact. So, convection is the, is the transfer of heat by the movement of air or liquid. Convection. Maaari yung smoke or yung mga liquid na, na object. So, convection, smoke, yung natatrap sa kisame, maaari mag yung kisame kasi mainit na yung mga usok na natrap doon. So, yan yung convection. While radiation, both conduction and convection requires matter to transfer heat. Radiation is a method of heat transfer and does not rely upon any contact between the heat source and the heat heated object. So, radiation, So, kahit malayo yung object, kaya niyang mag-transfer ng heat. Kasi, kagaya ng sun. So, malayo yung sun sa atin, nafe-feel pa rin natin yung heat niya. Yan yung radiation. So, pag, so may instances na, na nasusunog na bahay at yung kapitbahay niya ay nasus, nasunog din kahit hindi naman magkatabi masyado. So, yan yung radiation. Nagta-transfer ng heat kahit malayo kasi may merong mga heat waves na umaakit doon sa subject. Okay, yan yung heat transfer. So, convection, conduction, at radiation. Tingnan nyo maigi yung image. So, conduction, may physical contact. Convection, yung mga molecules lang yung umiinit. Iniinit na yung tubig galing sa bottom ng pan. So, radiation, kahit malayo yung pan, naiinitan pa rin siya ng apoy sa ilalim. Yan yung radiation or heat wave. Okay. No contact or wave is radiation. Move, movement of fluids and gases, convection. Direct contact or physical contact is conduction. Yan yung heat transfer. Okay, next. Two. It is the willful and malicious burning of property. Is it A. Malicious mischief? B. Destructive arson? C. Arson? Or D. Fire? Correct answer ay Arson. Arson, as defined in Section 1 of Presidential Decree Number no. 1613, is any person who burns or sets fire to the property of another. Prima facie evidence of arson. So, basahin nyo yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. Dalawang 4 dyan. So, 5 yung isa dyan. 5, 6, 7. So, prima facie evidence of arson. If the fire started simultaneously in more than one part of the building or establishment. So, may na, na, kahit saang area ng building, may uh, matuturing siya na arson pag yung isang area, uh, Ma malaki-laki na yung apoy or, mal or may kinain na yung apoy na maliit sa area na yun. So, 2. If substantial amount of flammable substances or materials are stored within the building, note, necessarily, necessary in the business, oh, 
denote not so if substantial amount of flammable substance or materials are stored within the building not necessary in the business of the offender nor for her household use so sa bahay nyo um, normal lang yung living nyo tas manunotice ng investigator bakit maraming kerosene so or hindi naman necessary sa household use or parang kaka, um, nakakaduda yung yung materials or yung kerosene na yun bakit napakaraming na imbak na kerosene doon so number 2 so number 3 if gasoline kerosene petroleum or other flammable or combustible substances or materials soak their weed or containers thereof or any mechanical electrical chemical or electronic contrivance designed to start a fire or ashes or traces of any of the foregoing are find are found in the ruins or premises of the burned building or property so arson so in um nasusunog lang yung bahay a uh, simple uh, ang simple lang na kan pag nasusunog yung bahay hindi kaagad yun arson so number three if may nakakahina kakahina lang mga materials na nakapalibot sa bahay or natagpuan sa palibot ng nasus, nasunog na bahay uh, maaari sang ituring na arson so yan yung number three So, four, if the building or property is insured for substantially more than its actual value at the time of the insurance or policy. So, number four is money. So, involving yung insurance or insurance fraud. So, maaring arson, um, sinunog yung property kasi mas malaki yung makukuhang benefits o malaki yung makukuha ng insurance doon sa bahay na nasunog. So, yan yung number four. Dalawang number four, ito ay number five. So, if during the lifetime of the corresponding fire insurance policy, more than two fires have occurred in the same or other premises owned or under control of the offender and or insured. So, insurance pa rin. So, kaka, na, um, so same year. Um, ikaw yung uh, same owner pa rin, pero yung first... Uh, first uh, first uh, first sunog is hindi na na-consider na arson pag same year kal- dalawang sunog yung nangyari sa inyo or nakakaduda na or yan yung in- yan yung dun yung magsa-start an investigation uh, kung arson ba talaga yung ginawa okay number 6 if shortly before the fire A substantial portion of the effects insured and stored in a building or property had been withdrawn from the premises except in the ordinary course of business. So, uh, nasusunog yung building nyo at nalaman ng investigator bakit yung mga importanteng mga documents or importanteng mga importanteng mga things or importanteng mga gamit ay naalis na sa bahay bago masunog is arson or pwedeng maging arson. So, pwedeng imbestigahan ng investigador uh, uh, ma- or na maaring arson yung ginawang pagsunog. Okay. Seven, if a demand for money or other valuable consideration was made before the fire in exchange for the desistance of the offender or for the safety of the person, property of the victim. So, may, may pagbabanta sa number six. So, uh, uh, ikaw, Uh, example, uh, um, si A at si B. Uh, si A, binantaan niya si B na susunugin na yung bahay pag uh, naghingi siya ng mga, naghingi siya ng konsiderasyon o naghingi siya ng, o oh, parang blackmail lang or simple, oy, susunugin ko yung bahay mo pag hindi mo ginawa to. Oh. Once masunog yung bahay mo uh, without knowing who Uh, sino yung gumawa automatic yung si A ang magiging suspect for arson so understand number 6 uh, number 7 okay destructive arson when does arson becomes destructive arson kailan magiging destructive arson yung simple arson or arson take note that the penalty imposed for arson is pressure mayor Destructive arson. Under, under Article 320 of the Revised Penal Code, 
as amended, a penalty of reclusion perpetua shall be imposed upon a person who shall burn one or more buildings or edifices consequent to one single act of burning or as a result of simultaneously burnings or committed in several or different occasions. Any building of, of public or private ownership devoted to the public in general where people usually gather for a definite purpose. Any train, locomotive, ship, or vessel, airplane devoted for public use, entertainment, or leisure. Any building, factory, warehouse, installation, and any appurtenances thereto which are devoted to the service of public utilities. Any building that burning of which is the purpose of concealing or destroying evidence of another, another violation of law, or for the purpose of concealing bankruptcy or defrauding creditors or to collect from insurance. So one, one example is yung uh, sa squatter area. Sinunog mo yung isang bahay doon o may nasunog na isang bahay doon at marami yung nadamay. So yan yung number one. So consider na destructive arson. Imbis na arson lang yung ikakaso sa'yo, mag-upgrade to destructive arson kasi marami na yung nadamay. So, number two, uh, any building or private ownership, public or private ownership, uh, kagaya ng malls, uh, city hall. Pag sinunog mo yung city hall, ikaw, sa tingin mo, arson lang. Pero pag sinunog mo yun, uh, ginagamit yun ng mga tao eh. At yung, so, magiging destructive arson. Kagaya ng mall, pag sinunog mo yung mall, magiging destructive arson kasi ginagamit ng maraming tao. O, oh, any train or locomotive, Ship or vessel, airplane devoted for public use, entertainment or leisure. So, mga sasakyang pandagat o pang ere or airplane. So, any building, factory, warehouse, installation, and any apparatus there too which are devoted to the service of public utilities. Any, the, any building that burning which is the purpose of concealing or destroying. So, concealing crimes. Sinunog mo yung bahay kasi may pinatay ka, magiging destructive arson, um, Concealing bankruptcy or defrauding or defrauding creditors or to collect from insurance. Magiging destructive arson. Okay. A penalty of reclusion perpetua to death shall be imposed to any person who shall burn. Any arsenal, shipyard, storehouse, or military power of firework factory, ordnance, storehouse, archives, or general museum of the government. In an inhabited place, any storehouse or factory of inflammable or explosive materials. So, destructive arson. So, take note, destructive arson dito is reclusion perpetua as amended of a penalty of reclusion perpetua. So, sa, dito sa part na ito is magiging reclusion perpetua to death. Pag sinunog mo yung any arsenal, shipyard, storehouse, or military power, or, or any military uh, military owned na mga buildings or mga factory. So, at mga uh, factory of inflammable or explosive materials. So, magiging reclusion perpetua to death. Well, before uh, yung previous slide is reclusion perpetua and simple arson or arson is prison mayor. Okay, as amended. Next. Number three, the matter that being burned. Is it A, oxygen, B, heat, C, fire, or D, fuel? Correct answer ay fuel. 3B, the chemical process whereby the fire consumes the most solid part of the fuel is strictly called A, pyrophoric, B, thermodynamics, C, pyrolysis, or D, catalysis. Correct answer ay pyrolysis. Okay, explain ko. Fuel. Fuel is the material or substance being oxidized or burned or burned in the combustion process. In scientific terms, the fuel and combustion reaction is known as reducing agent. Any combustible substance is, co is considered as fuel. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. So, fuel is a reducing agent. Yan yung nasusunog sa sa process ng uh, ng apoy so fuel 
fuel oh, pyrolysis this is defined as the chemical decomposition of substance through the action of heat the chemical process where the fire consumes the most solid part of the fuel so oh, the process of burning pyrolysis so so notice pag yung bahay niyo is half cement and half wood so masusunog talaga yung mga combustible na wood so unahin niyo yung most solid part ng bahay niyo so most solid part na combustible so yun yung mga wood materials so yung mga kahoy uh, yun yung mga yan yung ang process na yun na dinidecompose niya yung mga fuel so pyrolysis Next, heat. Heat energy is sufficient to release vapor from the fuel and cause ignition. Heat, seen as a form of energy arising from the random motion of molecules of, of bodies which may be transferred by conduction, convection, or radiation. So, heat. Yan yung heat. Or init. So, kailangan ng init para mag-start yung apoy. So, fuel and heat. Okay, oxygen. Oxygen, 21% is present in the atmosphere. 16% is sufficient to start fire. So, 16% lang yung kailangan para mag-start nyo apoy. So, while 21 is sufficient na para makahinga ang isang tao. So, sige, oxidi oxidizing agent. So, oxygen is an oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agents are those materials that yield oxygen or other Oxidizing gases during the course of chemical reaction. Oxidizers are not themselves combustible but they support combustion when combined with a fuel. So, so kagaya ng kahoy, pag sinunog mo yung kahoy, uh, masusustain na yung apoy, apoy kasi yung kahoy, uh, yung fuel or yung kahoy, uh, yung kahoy yung fuel. Then, um, well, nag-start na yung apoy, yung kahoy is magre-release ng oxidizing agents. So, magre-release ng Sarili niyang oxygen para masustain niya yung apoy. So, yan yung oxidizing agents. The fire tetrahedron. So, heat, oxygen, and fuel. And the most important, ay, so, take note, lahat dito sa fire tetrahedron is important. So, remove one, fire will not be possible. Okay, you remove heat, fire will not happen. Oxygen and fuel. And also, uh, pati na yung chemical chain reaction. So, kailangan ng chemical chain reaction para mapaghalo yung heat, oxygen, at fuel. Kung walang chemical chain reaction, uh, never, uh, hindi magsta-start ang apoy. Okay, number four. What is the classification of fire if the burning material involves zirconium and magnesium? Is it A, class A, B, class C, C class B or D class D. Correct answer ay class D. So, ito na tayo. Class A fires or classification of fire. Class A fires, ordinary combustible materials such as wood, cloth, paper, rubber, and plastic. So, class A fires yung ordinary yung makikita lang sa bahay or makikita mo lang araw-araw. Kaya ng kahoy, yung mga damit. Papel, uh, mga plastics. So, yun yung mga ordinary. So, nabilong siya sa class A fires. So, yan yung, yan yung uh, class A fires. So, ordinary combustible. So, ang keyword dyan is ordinary combustible. Kahit wala na yung word na wood, cloth, paper, rubber, and plastics, pag makikita mo yun sa question sa board, um, what is ordinary combustibles? Or classification of fire which, in, which involve ordinary combustibles. So, it is class A fires. So, water is used to put, put out class A fires. So, ordinary combustibles, ordinary lang yung papatay sa kanya. So, tubig lang. Okay. Class B fires. Flammable liquids, greases, and gases. So, flammable liquids such as... Uh, such as kerosene, petroleum products, gases, um, LPG, greases, yung mga asete sa, ng motor, yun, pwede nyo mag-apoy. And 
class uh, class B fires can be killed by smoldering or uh, carbon dioxide and AFFF or foam extinguisher. Foam fire extinguisher. So, okay. Okay. Smoldering yung uh, kukunin mo yung oxygen ng apoy. So, discuss ko later yung smoldering. Okay. Class C fires. Fires involving Energize electrical equipment. So, class C fires is electrical equipment. Okay. Uh, class C fires, ito yung um, um, prevalent pag may sunog. So, electrical talaga yung dahilan pag may nasusunog. Or, ka, uh, ito yung main, uh, main suspect pag may nasusunog na bahay. Electrical shortage talaga. Okay. To put out classifiers, you need dry chemicals and halons. Yan yung mag-extinguish ng classifiers. Dry chemicals, makikita mo yan sa fire extinguisher. And next, class D fires, yung question ko kanina. Fires involving combustible metals such as magnesium, titanium, zirconium, sodium, and potassium. Use dry powder to extinguish Class D fires. Class D fires. Class C and Class D fires uh, never use water to extinguish this uh, this kind of fire. Uh, Mari kasi mag-start ng chemical reaction at lalala, lalala yung sunog. Okay, Class K fires. Class K is a new classification of fire as of 1998 and involves fires. In combustible cooking fuels such as vegetable or animal fat. So, class K stands for, or also known as kitchen fires. So, mga mantika na ginagamit sa, ginagamit mo sa <clears throat> pagluluto. Okay. I never put water din pag class K fires occur occurs. Okay. Just uh, pag nasusunog yung pan mo. Um, huwag mong buhusan ng tubig takpan mo lang ng, takpan mo lang at mawawala na yung sunog okay next 5 what law punishes the crime of arson which amends the provision of the revised penal code is it A. Republic Act 9514 B. Presidential Decree 1185 C. Pres Presidential Decree 1612 D. Presidential Decree 1613. Correct answer ay? Ay na. Ang tamang sagot dito ay PD 1613. Okay. Number 6. Beginning phase of fire whereas oxygen is plenty and the temperature is rising at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit or 537 degrees Celsius. Is it A, pre-burning, B, smoldering, C, incipient, or D, embering? Correct answer ay, incipient. Phases of fire. Incipient phase is yung unang yugto ng apoy, or the first phase. In the first phase, the oxygen content in the air has not been signific significantly reduced, and the fire is, is producing water before Vapor, carbon dioxide, perhaps a small quantity of sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and other gases. The fire may be producing a flame temperature well above 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, yet the temperature in the room at this stage may be only slightly increased. So, incipient phase, uh, yung unang phase ng sunog. Okay, next. Pre-burning. The second phase of burning encompasses all of the pre-burning activities of the fire. So, ito na yung climax ng sunog. Dito na yung maray, ma, ah, dito na mangyayari yung malaking sunog or ah, di na talaga mapipigilan yung apoy sa pre-burning. While sa incipient phase, maaari pang pigilan. So, during this phase, oxygen-rich air is drawn into flame as convection. 
the, the rise of heated gases carries the heat of the upper most regions of confined area. The oxygen depleted and the temperature rises at 1000 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. I degrees 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that is free burning. Smoldering phase. In the third phase, flame may be ceased to exist if the area of confinement is sufficiently airtight. In this instant, instance, burning is reduced to glowing embers. So, so smoldering phase, tapos na yung sunog. Pero may mga glowing embers pa sa loob ng bahay. So, maari pang, ah, mainit pa yung loob. Or, Charcoal na pero may embers pa rin. So, smoldering phase. The room becomes completely filled with dense smoke and gases to extent that it's forced from all cracks under pressure. The fire will continue to smolder and the room will completely fill with dense smoke and gases of combustion at a temperature of well over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So, babalik siya sa 1,000 degrees. Sa so, free burning talaga yung mas malaki yung... Um, Temperature niya. So, mas mainit yung free burning. Dito, gases na lang at glowing embers. 7. It is the removal of heat and quenching it with water. Is it A. Cooling B. Smothering C. Starving or D. Interruption Correct answer ay Cooling The removal of heat. So, removal of heat is cooling. So, next, uh, explain ko. Um, the fire tetrahedron so paano mag-extinguish ng individual part ng tetrahedron so heat just cool the materials or cool cool the cool down the fire or buhusan mo lang ng tubig yun yung heat pagtanggal ng heat so fuel remove fuel source so starving so Kukunin mo yung, yung fuel source. Kukunin mo yung panggatong niya. Well, oxygen, smolder, air supply. So, mahirap tong oxygen kasi kukunin mo yung oxygen supply niya. So, parang sasakalin mo yung apoy. Well, chemical chain reaction is interrupt reaction. Just interrupt the reaction. So, maaari mo lang interrupt to pag start ng apoy. So, pag malaki, pag nasa free burning na, hindi mo na yun ma-interrupt. So, Either to cool or remove or smother the fire. Okay. Next. Uh, note, removing one element from the triangle means extinguishing the fire or the fire will not start at all. Eight, the, primar the primary course of action in case of fire. A, run for your life. B, raise the alarm. C, leave the building. Or D, remove occupants. It is B, raise the alarm. Always raise the alarm. Um, bago ka tumakbo, uh, sabihan mo muna yung mga katabi mo o mga, mga neighboring mo na may apoy. So, maaari silang makatulong sa iyo or ikaw mismo ang makatulong sa, sa pag-apula ng apoy sa inyo. So, always, always remember, remember this. Always raise the alarm. So, i-notify eh, mo sila na may sunog. Kasi para, baka, baka sa kapitbahay nyo, mas, ma, may magaling, or uh, may criminology student. So, alam niya yung paano mag-apula ng apoy. Okay. Number nine. The irresistible Impulse or compulsion to start a fire and experience gratification and satisfaction from it. A. Fire starter syndrome. B. Phyrophobia. C. Fire maniac. Or D. Pyromaniac. Ang correct answer ay pyromaniac. Pyrophobia, takot sa apoy. So, pyromaniac. The irresistible impulse or compulsion to start a fire. So, may... Tupak yung mga yan, mga pyromaniac na yan. So, gusto nilang manood ng apoy, gusto nilang manood ng something na nag-aapoy, so, nagbibigay yun ng gratification sa kanila. Okay. Number 10. 
occurs when a room or other area becomes heated to the point where flames flash over the entire surface or the entire surface or area. Is it A, backdrop, B, flash over, C, salvage, or D, overhaul? Correct answer ay, flash over. Flash over occurs when a room or other area becomes heated to the point where the flames flash over the entire surface or area. Originally, it was believed that flashover was caused by combustible gases released during the early stage of fire. It was thought that these gases collected at the ceiling level and mixed with air until they reached their flammable range, then suddenly ignited causing flashover. It, it is now believed that while this may occur, it, pre it precedes flashover. Backdraft. In the smoldering phases of a fire, burning is incomplete because not, uh, because not enough oxygen is available to sustain the fire. However, the heat from the free burning phase remains and the unburned carbon particles and other flammable products of combustion are just waiting to burst into rapid, almost instantaneous combustion when more oxygen is supplied. So, flash over and backdrop. Okay, that sums up our review. Um, good luck and may God bless us always. Uh, this is Joven Ray Obyuska. I'm teaching CDI. Thank you for listening and God bless us all.